compensations by francis r havergal read for LibriVox.org by kathleen oh the compensating springs oh the balancings of life hidden away in the workings under the seeming strife slowing the fret and the friction weighing the whirl and the force evolving the truest power from each unconscious source how shall we gauge the whole who can only guess a part how can we read the life when we cannot spell the heart how shall we measure another we who can never know from the juddings above the surface the depth of the vein below even our present way is known to ourselves alone height and abyss and torrent flower and thorn and stone but we gaze on another's path as a far-off mountain scene scanning the outlined hills but never the vales between how shall we judge their present we who have never seen that which is past for ever and that which might have been measuring by ourselves unwise indeed are we measuring what we know by what we can hardly see ah if we knew it all we should surely understand that the balance of sorrow and joy is held with an even hand that the scale of success or loss shall never overflow and that compensation is twined with the lot of high and low the easy path in the lowland hath little of grand or new but a toilsome ascent leads on to a wide and glorious view peopled and warm is the valley lonely and chill the height but the peak that is nearer the storm cloud is nearer the stars of light launch on the foaming stream that bears you along like a dart there is danger of rapid and rock there is tension of muscle and heart glide on the easy current monotonous calm and slow you are spared the quiver and strain in the safe and quiet flow oh the sweetness that dwells in a harp of many strings while each all vocal with love in tuneful harmony rings but oh the wall and the discord when one and another is rent tensionless broken or lost from the cherished instrument for rapture of love is linked with the pain or fear of loss and the hand that takes the crown must ache with many a cross yet he who hath never a conflict hath never a victor's palm and only the toilers know the sweetness of rest and calm only between the storms can the alpine traveller know transcendent glory of clearness marvels of gleam and glow had he the brightness unbroken of cloudless summer days this had been dimmed by the dust and the veil of a brooding haze who would dare the choice neither or both to know the finest quiver of joy or the agony thrill of woe never the exquisite pain then never the exquisite bliss for the heart that is dull to that can never be strung to this great is the peril or toil if the glory or gain be great never an earthly gift without responsible weight never a treasure without a following shade of care never a power without the lurk of a subtle snare for the swift is not the safe and the sweet is not the strong the smooth is not the short and the keen is not the long the much is not the most and the wide is not the deep and the flow is never a spring when the ebb is only neap then hush oh hush for the father knows what thou knowest not the need and the thorn and the shadow linked with the fairest lot knows the wisest exemption from many an unseen snare knows what will keep the nearest knows what thou couldst not bear hush o oh, hush for the father proportioneth as he will to all his beloved children and shall they not be still is not his will the wisest is not his choice the best and in perfect acquiescence is there not perfect rest hush o oh, hush for the father whose ways are true and just knoweth and careth and loveth and waits for thy perfect trust the cup he is slowly filling shall soon be full to the brim and infinite compensation for ever be found in him hush o oh, hush 
for the father hath fullness of joy in store treasures of power and wisdom and pleasures for evermore blessings and honor and glory endless infinite bliss child of his love and his choice oh canst thou not wait for this end of poem this recording is in the public domain